Hello everyone. Welcome to Autodesk Revit Tutorials. Today I will be explaining about the user interface of Revit software. The user interface is designed to simplify your workflow. It provides all of the tools you need to work in a model. Let's begin the tour of the user interface. Launch screen. When you launch the application, you first come in contact with the launch screen. The launch screen is divided into two parts. First half contains the project area where you can open a previous project you've been working on, create a brand new project, or access commonly used templates. This area also contains thumbnail links to your four most recent projects so that you can easily access them. The second half of the launch screen contains the families area where you can open existing or create new Revit families. This area also contains thumbnail links to your four most recent families. Resource panel. It is basically a series of hyperlinks to resources online. Get news, updates, and information from Autodesk, creators of Revit. Drawing interface. It is somewhat similar to other CAD applications. A set of instructions and a menu bar at the top of the screen, a properties palette on the right, a project browser on the left, and a large drawing area in the center. Ribbon, menu bar. It contains most of the tools and features for drawing, modeling, simulating, sharing, and collaborating, etc. Architecture tab. It is used to create or model any building or structure parts such as walls, roofs, ceilings, stairs, rooms, etc. Structure tab. It is dedicated to structural engineering. These include beams, walls, slabs, foundations, columns, and reinforcements. Systems tab. It contains all the MEP engineering tools you require in your building such as ducts, pipes, and plumbing and electrical fittings. Insert tab. It is used to import, link, or load other CAD files and projects of various file formats. Annotate tab. It is used for dimensions in drawing, add certain symbols, attach texts, detail parts, and create tags. Analyze tab. It is used to carry out structural and energy analysis, heating and cooling estimations. Massing and Site tab. It is used to create trees and parking space, shades, place masses and manage surfaces. Collaborate tab. It allows you to open other users' projects, merge projects and work together on the same project. View tab. It is used to create different views like 3D views, plans, elevations, sections, drafting views, schedules, visibility, etc. Manage tab. It is used for managing settings in your project such as materials, line styles, project location, etc. Add-ins tab. Expand the Revit functionality by adding plugins that provides easy, intuitive access to the commands. Modify tab. It contains tools that allow you to modify the elements of the project that you have created. Quick access toolbar. It contains commonly used commands such as open, redo, undo, and save. It can also be customized or reordered to user preference by adding or removing tools. Properties Palette It is used to display the parameters and their associated properties of all the elements that you create in Revit. Project Browser 
It is used to navigate through all the different views, schedules, etc. contained within your project. Drawing Area It is the central area of the application screen where you'll be carrying out most of your drawing, modeling, and detailing. Selection Tray Let's you decide what you can and cannot select. Red X on the icon indicates that following category will not be selected. Options Bar Enables when creating new elements or activating certain commands. Thank you for watching the tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will be explaining about project and families in Revit. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about next tutorial.